Hello guys, meeting Kanima again. Vacationing can make us more relaxed. Some places can be an alternative, whether it's mountains, beaches, or historical places. But what if you take a vacation to a very creepy place? Here are seven very creepy places you can visit, if you have the guts. Museo de las Momias. If your idea of a museum is dinosaur bones, collage patches, or paintings, head to Mexico, Guanajuato to be exact. There you will find a museum that collects mummies. The museum is called Museo de las Momias de Guanajuato, which means Guanajuato Mummy Museum. Unlike the Egyptian mummies that are wrapped in cloth and thousands of years old, the mummies in this museum have a more gruesome appearance. That's because these mummies have a more intact form and are younger than the Egyptian mummies. In addition, these mummies are not placed in luxurious crates, but in glass cases with makeshift conditions. These mummies wear ordinary clothes with gaping mouths like people who die in pain, giving the impression of zombies in movie scenes. The bodies in this museum are civilians from the 19th century who became mummified by themselves. Reportedly, the mummies were locals who died from a cholera outbreak in 1833. From 1865 to 1958, the municipal government of Guanajuato imposed a tax on burial grounds. For families who couldn't afford the tax, the remains would be kept in the basement until the family paid off the tax. Since many families could not afford to pay the tax, the abandoned bodies piled up over the years. Because they could no longer fit, the mummified bodies were moved to a larger building, which also functioned as a display. From here, the initial concept of the Guanajuato Museum was created, and until now, it has become popular with tourists as a horror tourism destination. If you go there, you will meet fully clothed baby mummies, pregnant woman mummies, and the most famous is the handheld fetus mummy, which is the smallest mummy in the world. Hell Gates The Gates of Hell is a desert tourist spot located in Turkmenistan. It is named the Gates of Hell because in this place there is a large crater with a fire that always burns. It is estimated that the fire in this crater has been burning for 44 years. Reportedly, this crater began when oil engineers were drilling for gas, but suddenly the ground above collapsed, so that the diameter of the crater became wider. Fearing the gas was toxic, the engineers let the gas burn for a few weeks. But the crater never stopped burning until now. Today, the Gate of Hell is 30 meters deep and 69 meters wide, with a terrifying appearance. The temperature inside the crater is very hot, about 1,000 degrees Celsius at the bottom of the crater. In a year, more than 14,000 tourists come to see this crater. Because this place has become a tourist destination, in 2004 there was a small village called Derwiz, which was demolished because it was considered unpleasant for the sight of tourists. However, the government is currently working to extinguish it. That's because the crater is having an adverse effect on the geology of several other natural gas sites. Research on the crater has also never been conducted until November 2013. A Canadian scientist entered the crater for 15 minutes. At that time, the temperature on the rim of the crater reached 85 degrees Celsius and flames always spurted when he took soil samples. He fainted and the crew pulled him up. Munces Island There are many uninhabited islands in the world, but none is creepier than this one in Mexico. The island, Isla de los Munces, is only inhabited by old dolls hanging from every tree in the forest. Initially, there was a man named Don Julian Santana who lived alone on the island due to stress. Until then he found a drowned girl. Santana, who felt guilty because he should have been able to help the child, then found a doll in the place where the girl drowned. Then he hung the doll to honor the girl's spirit. Over the years, Santana's collection of found dolls grew until it filled the island. 
Santana, who had lived on the island for 50 years, finally died in 2001 in the same place where the little girl died. During her 50 years of collecting dolls, Santana never cared for or cleaned the hanging dolls, giving them a creepy appearance. As well as being scattered across the island, the dolls also fill Santana's home. Visitors to the island think the dolls are creepy, but to Santana, they are the beautiful guardians of the island. Capuchin Monastery Catacombs In Italy, you will find a tourist destination that is very scary, but can be visited by anyone. If in general funerals are carried out by burying the corpse, certain groups of people actually preserve the corpse to become a mummy. This village in Italy is no exception. In a Capuchin Monastery Catacomb, Palermo, Italy, there are 8,000 corpses preserved and displayed in the form of mummies. The mummies have different poses, ranging from standing, sitting or being in a crate, as if greeting visitors. The mummies are the corpses of monks and other public figures. The history of mummification here dates back to the 16th century. At that time, a group of Capuchin monks carried out the first preservation process of its member named Silvestro. The preservation process was very simple, namely by leaving the body alone in a sheep that has very dry conditions. The body fluids then evaporated naturally until the body was covered in vinegar and dressed. Until today, the method of mummification remains the same, only replacing vinegar with formalin. One of the most famous mummies here is Rosalia Lambrado, the corpse of a two-year-old girl who died in 1920. That means that this mummy is more than a hundred years old but in fact it still has a very good and amazing condition, so much so that she was nicknamed the Sleeping Beauty. Mutter Museum If you still have the guts to continue your journey, visit the Mutter Museum in Pennsylvania, USA. The museum was opened to the public in 1990 and has at least 20,000 collections that will surprise and give you goosebumps. Mutter Museum is categorized as the most complete medical oddities museum in the world. Being a medical oddities museum, Mutter has a collection that makes visitors cringe. In this museum, you will find pieces of Albert Einstein's brain that died in 1995. Not only Einstein's brain, you can also see a cat's brain displayed in a glass box. You will also find the complete skeleton of Harry Eastlack who suffered from a rare disease where the muscle tissue in his body became bone. If you come across a large, dull lump, don't be surprised, it's the Super Bowl, one of the Mutter Museum's highlights. The Super Bowl is an enlarged chunk of intestine due to an undeveloped nerve disease in the intestine. The Mutter Museum also presents body parts of Civil War victims who fought fiercely in Pennsylvania. The body parts are bones from legs, arms, backs, or skulls that were hit by bullets or cannon fragments, illustrating how intense the civil war between the North and South was. Torture Museum If until now you hear the word museum still imagine objects of historical value, pay attention to the word torture contained in the name of this museum. The Museum of Torture is located in Amsterdam, Netherlands. This museum collects documentation of Europe's dark history and tools used to torture humans. It is said that the tools in this museum were used to torture criminals, according to the crimes they committed. There are at least 30 to 40 execution tools on display in this museum. In fact, there is one of the tools used to execute French King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette in 1791. Namely the guillotine which is also displayed in this museum. Inside the museum, visitors can find illustrations of the use of these tools and their history through several languages, including English, Dutch, French, and German. Make no mistake. 
because everything on display in this museum is original and was used to torture criminals in the past. Bielitz Military Hospital Germany has a large hospital that was used during the World War. But now, the hospital is abandoned and creates a sense of horror. It is the Bielitz Military Hospital, located southwest of Berlin, Germany. In its time, this hospital was the best and equipped with various facilities. There was even a post office, bakery, butcher shop and restaurant within the hospital complex. During World War I, this hospital was used to treat German soldiers who were wounded in the war. It was even used to treat Adolf Hitler who was injured at the Battle of the Somme in late 1916. But when Germany lost to the Soviets, the hospital was converted into a Soviet hospital. When the Soviets split, the hospital returned to German ownership until it was converted to treat Parkinson's patients. But in 2000, the German government decided to close the hospital and leave it abandoned until today. With conditions that have not been maintained for years, this hospital has become a creepy place. There are still some unused medical equipment such as mattresses and surgical tools. Well guys, that's 7 creepy places from around the world. Don't forget to write your comments below and like the video or dislike it if you don't like it. Thanks for watching and see you in other videos.